What's going on everybody? This is Emerald Knight Leon back with another deck analysis today or in my case tonight I'm covering Mega Gargomon. Now this is a deck that I actually very much enjoy. I've gotten a few time uh, chances of playtesting it actually over this weekend and it's definitely a deck that I feel can really do some damage when done correctly. So, going over our digi eggs, we are running four copies of the new Gummymon and one copy of Argomon. Argomon, like usual, is when this Digimon becomes unsuspended during your unsuspend phase, gain one memory. This, uh, up until now, probably was one of the better digi eggs for green, but now we have Gummymon. Your turn once per turn. When an opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, draw one. The whole premise of green is suspending your opponent's Digimon, and Gargomon does this a lot, so getting that draw one off of suspending is really going to be useful. On to our, our level 3s, we're running 4 copies of Terriermon, 4 copies of Terriermon, 4 copies of Terriermon, and 2 copies of Palmon. So, Palmon can be replaced with a couple of other things if you wanted. Uh, we'll cover that, uh, one of them being Kokuomon, if you wanted some more aggression. The uh, reason I put Cal Palmon here is you're suspending your opponent's Digimon, you know, maybe you, if you want to target specifically the ones that are already suspended, having, Pal get, having Palmon giving you that extra 2,000 can be very useful. Uh, as for our Terrier Mons, we have four copies of the BT3 Terrier Mon. This one has the uh, ability of your opponent can't gain memory except with Tamer effects. Uh, we have BT8 Terrier Mon that just recently came out a uh, little over a month ago. Uh, it's on play is you may reveal the top five cards of your deck, add one card with Gargomon or Rapidmon in its name among them to your hand and the remaining go to the bottom. This is a really useful uh, searcher. If your starting hand might not have the level 4 or level 5 that you're looking for, or if you got one rapid mom but you're trying to look for the other, it can be very useful in that regard. And finally, we have our newest EX2 Terrier Mon. Uh, your turn, once per turn, when you play a green tamer, gain one memory. Uh, this will basically make Henry a, a three-cost tamer, or Willis, in my case, a two-cost tamer, or any of our other tamers that we might play, even a one-cost. He also has the inherited of when an opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, this Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP for the turn. So Mega Gargamon doesn't pack a lot of power, but with combining a lot of these inherited's from Terriermon, Gargamon, and Rapidmon, he can become a force to be reckoned with. Uh, we've talked about Palmon already, moving on to our level 4s. We're running 2 copies of Gargomon, 4 copies of Gargomon, and 4 copies of Rapidmon. So, Gargomon, this is the BT3 Gargomon. He is nice. His inherited mainly is, uh, this card gets plus 1000 DP for each of your opponent's suspended Digimon. Back during the BT3 set, uh, he was mainly there in order to buff this Mega Gargomon because of his DP being about 11,000. Uh, we don't need to worry about that now as much because we have a 13,000 one and there are other ways of bumping that DP such as our Terriermon here. Uh, speaking of bumping DP, we have the new EX2 Mega Gar or Gargomon who also has the inherited of plus 2,000. And uh, when this Digimon would Digivolve, if you have a green tamer in play, reduce their Digivolution cost by one. So if you are s trying to speed your way into Mega Gargomon, uh, he is very useful in that regard because you could just Digivolve into Rapidmon either for a two cost or even a one cost. Uh, and finally, our running four copies of Rapidmon uh, Rapidmon, this is the armor uh, form of Rapidmon. It digivolves onto a Terriermon for a 3 cost, so that really comes in handy when we're running 12 Terriermons. He has armor purge, 
and uh, when digivolving, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon for each Tamer you have in play, and then up to three of your opponent's di suspended Digimon get minus one, 5,000 for the turn. So that can come in handy if you're trying to clear your opponent uh, forward of some smaller fry people, uh, Digimon, in order to prevent them from going into their higher levels. Uh, an example being your opponent is playing a lot of Agumons when they're running Black War Greymon in order to use Agumon searching ability to try to get their higher level stuff. And you're going to then prevent them from being able to go into that as much because you're constantly like clearing their board of all their Agumons. Going into our level 5s, we're running 2 copies of Rapidmon and 4 copies of Rapidmon. So we have the 2 copies of the old BT3 Rapidmon. Its effect is very similar to the BT3 Gargomon in that it gets plus 1000 for each of your opponent's suspended Digimon. And then our new Rapidmon, when Digivolving, if you have a green tamer in place, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. And... Uh, also, it's inherited. When opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, this Digimon gets security attack plus one uh, for the turn. So, it's on. It's a bit of a shame that we can't get that once per turn is there, because if it wasn't, then we would be able to just utilize abilities to constantly keep uh, suspending our opponent's Digimon, getting Mega Gargamon to maybe a security attack plus three or four, depending on how. How many uh, abilities we could use but we we're still able to make do uh, moving on our level sixes we're running two copies of bt 3s mega gargamon and four copies of ex2 mega gargamon so bt 3s mega gargamon is a nice still uh, when did you evolving suspend one of your opponent's digimon it doesn't unsuspend during your opponent's next unsuspend phase and while your opponent has a suspended Digimon, this Digimon gains security attack plus one. So automatically it'll get a plus, it'll get two checks right then and there, which is why you want the Gargomons and Rapidmons to bump its DP in order to, so it can live over those hits. Uh, we have other ways of making that. We can combine it with Terriermon or the new Gargomon so that it could get plus 4,000, bringing it to eight to 15. But there are other ways we can bump that. Uh, we'll also be running four copies of Mega Gargomon. When Digivolving, for each green tamer you have in play, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. They don't unsuspend during your opponent's unsuspend phase uh, next turn, which is really nice uh, because we're running like we're running five tamers, maybe six depending on on your ratios if you wanted. Uh, e you could even run seven if you want, probably. And still feel comfortable and having all those tamers will help you basically check your opponent's board so that during your next turn you can start going to town and crippling their board little by little uh, he also has the when attacking once per turn return one of your opponents suspended Digimon with DP less than or equal to this Digimon's DP to its owner's hand so this is really useful because with the DP increases we can give him uh, being maximum of 4,000 with the new Terriermon and Rapidmons, that pumps him bumps him to 17,000, which means we can bump a lot of things uh, if we wanted, which is nice. Onto our options, we're running one copy of Hidden Potential Discovered, three copies of Samadhi Santi, uh, pardon me if I mispronounce that, I'm sorry, and four copies of Digivolution Plugin S. So... Hidden Potential Discovered, what more needs to be said? Uh, it's restricted to one because of how good it is. Uh, basically, that zero cost, uh, we can basically warp our way into getting into our Mega Gargomon if needed, which is very useful. If our opponent only has one Digimon when we go into Mega Gargomon, that's even better because they can't do anything to stop our Mega Gargomon unless they have something in raising that they're able to warp into later. But even then, there's not much they can do. Uh, we have three copies of Samadhi Santi. 
Uh, basically, he it this card's here for its effect. You may suspend one of your Digimon to suspend one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers. Your opponent's cards suspended with this effect can't unsuspend until the end of their next turn. So this is very useful if you already have Mega Gargamon out and another Digimon out and you want to get a lot of those inherited effects off. So you just use some Adasanti, suspend the Digimon you have that you don't really need, and then you reap the benefits of those effects, put, bumping your Mega Gargamon up to 17,000 in the case of the new one or 15,000 in the case of the old one and getting that extra security check from the Rapidmon. Uh, finally, Digivolution Plugin S. This is a useful card if you're trying to rush your way into getting uh, to your Mega Gargamon. You'll be able to draw one, and then if you have uh, a Digimon out, you may Digivolve one of your Digimon into a Digimon card in your hand that can Digivolve for a Digivolution cost of three or less. Uh, and then it has the security effect of reveal the top three cards of your deck, add one Digimon card among them to your hand, place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order, and then add this card to your hand. So that's going to be very useful. Finally, on to our Tamers. We have four copies of Henry Wong and two copies of Willis. So re Henry is really what you want. You want to have Henry in your deck. You want to have it at max four. The reason for this is not only is he a memory setter, uh, basically setting your memory to three at the start of your turn. When you attack with a Digimon with Gargamon or Rapidmon in its name, you may suspend this tamer to suspend your opponent's Digimon. That is very useful, especially if you don't want to rely on some Adesanti and you want to maybe use different option cards. So you, you have another way of getting Mega Gargamon's effects and its inheritance off. Willis is mainly here to further reduce the Digivolution cost. Uh, when one of your Digimon would Digivolve into a Digimon with Gargomon or Rapidmon in its name, you may suspend this Tamer to reduce the Digivolution cost by one. So because we have a Di Gargomon that's four and another Gargomon that's five, and only one way to really take uh, lower that cost outside of putting in win rate 60%, Willis can be very useful. Uh, if we don't have our hidden potential discovered, but we do have maybe one or two copies of Willis already in play, that can pump Mega Gargamon to a three cost if needed. So overall, that is really it for this deck. There are some cards that you might want to tech in if needed. Uh, starting again, Kokuomon, basically if you wanted to run a more aggressive uh, variant of Mega Gargo, get that extra security attack in. Uh, if you want to try to win the game off of hybrids, Arbor Arbormon and Beetlemon are there for you to use. Uh, I have seen some people throwing around uh, Blossomon as well as Pistmon and Argomon, mainly for their digi absorptions. Uh, in the case of Argomon, it could also benefit so you can play Terriermons uh, if needed, but also Pistmon, if you could be used in place of the old Rapidmon as this Digimon gets plus 1000 for each of your other suspended Digimon. It's not really going to be focusing on your opponents, but it's something that might be what something to look into depending on how you're really working it. Uh, if you're capitalizing on Samada Santi, then that could be useful in bumping Mega Gargamon up a bit more. As for our level 7s, you could run Chaos Mon, uh, Valder Arm, or even if you want to be a little spicy, Imperial Dramon Paladin Mode. Hear me out. Uh, you could use this and then use its effect to take out your Rapid Mon, that's the armor form. And then basically potentially board wipe your opponent. This could be useful, especially in a D Reaper um, matchup, because all you need to do is just take out their main thing that has uh, Digivolution cards, being their Reaper, and then board wipe everything else that they have. So Imperial Dramon might be something to look into if you wanted to go against that uh, D Reaper matchup. As for options, Flower Cannon, uh, a Tropical Venom, and 
Dino Memory Boost can be very useful options. Uh, Tropical Venom is something that I am considering on because if you want to focus on suspending your opponent's Digimon and then deleting them, Tropical Venom could really be useful because it's a zero cost that basically forces the ability onto your opponent's one of your opponent's Digimon get on deletion lose two memory, which will affect your opponent. So if you delete their Digimon, you're gaining two memory. So that could be useful. Uh, if you're looking for searchers, green memory boost can also be useful. And finally for tamers, Izzy from the starter deck is something I've seen a lot of people run. Uh, basically, you're going to suspend him to gain one memory when you're suspending your opponent's Digimon. This can be useful, especially if you're running, I don't know, three copies of him. Because then you play Mega Gargomon, suspend up all of their Digimon because of how many tamers you have suspend your Izzy's and then that will mitigate a lot of his Digivolution cost like I get that so definitely I've seen a lot of people play Izzy over Willis it might be something that I might try testing and looking into myself but again that is it for this deck analysis I hope you enjoy it I'll be heading back to San Diego tomorrow actually uh and I will probably have a video out Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, probably on Gallantmon and maybe with a splash of Megidramon in it. Uh, make it a little bit of a double a double deck analysis because I've, I've been tinkering around with different variants of uh, ideas for Gallantmon. So that's definitely something that I want to go over and look into. Uh, outside of that, yes. Uh, leave a like comment you know subscribe if you're interested uh, i want to hear what you think uh what decks you're wanting to play with in ex2 because i've definitely been enjoying the artwork and just the love for tamers that ex2 has given us so i will see you in the next video peace